Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on my 99 GMC Sierra. We're going to be doing a review on some LED headlights from Autosaver 88. It's a seller on Amazon. So we'll get the box, check them out, and see just how much it's going to take to get them installed and wired in. Let's check out what we got. It's a good looking headlight. It's nice, it comes with this bracket already. So, the way these headlights go in these trucks is very simple. There's two pins, you'll see that shortly. So, the bracket's already here. We don't have to take anything off the old assembly. Um, the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be wiring in the LED light, which isn't going to be a big deal. I'm just going to tie mine into the marker lights. Now, right now, my truck has got, as soon as you turn the key on, the lights are on. Or as soon as you pull the parking brake off, the lights are on. So this is always going to be on, which is fine with me. So that's not too bad. Everything's nice. It looks nice. We'll see how it looks on the truck. Comes with instructions and scotch locks. These will be all right. Um, I'm a fan of soldering things. I'll probably just use these for now. It's uh, even if you haven't done much mechanic work or wiring work, anybody can use these. It's really simple. So, we'll get the old headlights out of the truck and see how these fit. And then we'll see which wires we got to tie into for the marker lights for our LED strips. It's not a big job getting these lights out. This pin right here, just pop it sideways, slide it out. There's another pin right here. Slide sideways, pop it out. These trucks are so easy to work on. Now your headlights out. Now we just gotta get the bulbs unplugged. You can unplug them and just pull the bulb out because the new headlights did not come with bulbs. So we will be using the original ones from the truck. That's it. It's that easy. So we'll see how the new one fits. Had to do some adjusting on this to get it so the pants would just pop in. It didn't take but a minute. I just set it in there, got it close, and started adjusting it, which is not their fault by any means. It's got a lot of adjustment, so just being out of the box from where they assembled it, it's not necessarily going to be just right out of the box. But one minute of adjusting, we got it. So we get the balls popped back in. This up after right there, and we're in. So once you get these in, you take a look at it. Like I said, the adjustment that's just part of it. You're gonna have to do that. Because once I got it closer, it made it easier to get the pins in, and it looks good. Like the adjustment was right now. So I didn't have to move it very far, just a little bit to aid getting those pins lined up. I think it looks pretty good as far as fitting it. There's their stock versus that. That looks so much better. I had thought that it, maybe it was going to make the factory lower look funny. But I think it looks all right. We may, uh, I may get the clear ones later, or get some that are kind of like that with the black inside. Um, definitely looks better than that. So I'm gonna pop the light back out, and we'll tie in the wires to the marker light so we can see what that's gonna look like. We're gonna pop the lower out to make it easier to get to the wires. To do that, you see this tang right there. All we gotta do is squeeze that. Squeeze that with one hand, pull out with the other. And that's how easy that is to get out. Now we can get to the... 
All right, we're going to wire these in. I've got the scotch locks set up on the wires. All this is is a blade with two slots in it. So the original wire goes through this first section. Your new wire goes in there. And then you just push this in with some pliers or squeeze it. And it makes contact. Um, I'm a fan of soldering things. These work. After several years eventually being out here, these may end up getting corroded. So if you cover them with something that's good or solder it, heat shrink it, and it lasts forever. All right. Uh, I said I was going to use the scotch locks, but I'm a fan of soldering. Uh, this is kind of part of why if you're not careful with scotch locks. I hooked it up once, undid it, hooked it up again in a different spot. And it just broke the wire in half because this is an older truck. So that's why I'm not a fan of Scotch locks. On a newer vehicle with not so old, the, the plastic on the wires not being so old, everything's so brittle, you probably get away with it a lot more often. But this is another reason why I'm not a fan. So we're just going to solder these in properly. Alright, so browns are hot. Gray wire is supposed to go to hot. So that and the blue is the ground. So I'll point you guys up here to look at it. This thing will stay put. So they're pretty bright. It's going to look pretty good once we get this installed correctly. So I'm going to get those soldered in and I'll fully install both of them in the truck. I gotta say, they look pretty freaking sweet. Kind of made the front end of this truck pop. And I like since I tied them into the marker light slash turn signals in the corners. Watch what it does when I hit the turn signal. I think they're awesome. They look really good. Fitment was fine. About the same as it was stock. Didn't take but a little adjusting to get them in there. Um, now that those are in, kind of makes... This one still looks alright. I'll probably get a new lower. That one's not so bad. That one being as faded. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb now. I'm very happy with these. You never know with these types of parts if the fitment's going to be right, how much work you're going to have to do. I mean, some adjustment with the fact with the adjustments built into it, and they went right in. No big deal. So I'm happy with it. I'll put the part number or a link in the description to get the headlights yourself if you're interested in these. I think they look great. They make the truck look good, even though it's it's just an old truck. It makes it look good, and I believe they're going to send me a discount code to put in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe.